guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be an update for the pen and everything or pie project pen that Jessica created for some of the fantastic ladies. As always the ladies doing this will be in the description box down below and the playlist will be up in the cards for you. This time around I have actually used some of the shadows but there's not really much progress because the shadows that I have right now are kind of more lacking in usage overall so it's going to take longer to hit pan on them. So the first one is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey palette. I'm still working on this shade and going nuts. I use this every single time I do my brows and we still do not have pan on this eyeshadow. And that is what that is currently looking like. So we still have that really huge dip going but there's no pan as of yet. So the next one I have is from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and we were working on this shade here in Bless Her Heart. And this is one that I've not used this time around. And that is what that one is currently looking like. Another one I've not used is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy and we are working on this shade fit here for the Graham. And that is what that one currently looks like. And the last shadow is one that I have been working on and it is from the original Naked palette by Urban Decay and it was the shade in Sin and it is the shade here. But again, there's no pan as of yet. This particular palette is interesting to me because when I was testing out that shadow in Sin, I wasn't that impressed by it. And I feel like I've used so many different eyeshadows now that I'm starting to know what formulas I like and what formulas I don't like. Like, for example, the Stoned palette that I would decay did. This one, the Stoned Vibes one. I cannot stop using this. I love the way it looks on my face. I just always, always reach for it. Even if I need to be working on something else, I want to pick this up. Whereas this one, I'm just kind of a bit meh about it. Like, I want to love it but the colors just don't pop and I have subtle palettes and I have that one from Colourpop that Erin gave me and I love that but I'm not in love with this so I think it might be time to declutter the Urban Decay Naked palette which kind of breaks my heart because you can't get this anymore so I might need to think a little bit more about it but that is what I'm considering right now. I know that a lot of people have decluttered theirs for the same reason just at the time it was great but since then a bunch of new people have made eyeshadows that are so much better that it just doesn't work anymore and I think that that's what's happened with me as well so let me know what you think I should do I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and let me know if you decluttered it and regretted it because that's another thing that I'd be interested to hear about. Thanks so much for watching this video, take care and I will see you very very soon. Bye!